I just recently added a new watch to my collection and we're gonna talk about it in this video. We're gonna talk about the price I paid for it, how I got it, what do I know about it, what are some key features, how do I plan on taking care of it, and is it staying in my collection? Let's get into it. Here's the thing. We are talking about the Fossil ME1122. So this bad boy right here, all right? Thing about this watch is it is discontinued so i can't really find a whole lot of information about it but that is why i love it that there is a mystery mystery behind it there's a mysterious quality to it that essentially the story behind it is something that you get to make up yourself now you can find listings of it online um but they're never from places that have the official information on it it's always from third party Amazon, just regular, or not even regular, but just like sub shops, I guess I can call it sub shops. And these places normally have very limited information. They don't have the origin or produce here or anything crazy, but I just have general information of it. From the design of the watch, I can kind of tell that it resembles the fossil machine chronograph. And it, this doesn't have a chronograph function, but I noticed that it kind of has that same textured bezel, same size at 45 millimeters, and then same strap width at 24. So it could fit a lot of the bigger watches that Fossil produces. Now the Fossil Twist, which is what this is in, which is kind of what this is built as, the current twist is built out of the, um, I believe it is a different range right now. The town, not the Townsman, it's built out of, I think the Privateer or something like that and so they change it up every so often and with that you tend to get lost in translation they're not a company that tends to just keep all of the information readily available and so you kind of have to look at that and kind of figure out what it is you are looking for now big thing though is that this watch color combination is absolutely amazing it comes on this rubber not rubber i'm sorry leather strap with a suede outside and leather inside it's not fossil made and so i'm having difficulties taking it off but i don't want to damage it and so i've been leaving it on because it really matches the vibe of the watch really well now let me back up if you don't know what fossil twist what that concept means is that concept means that it's a twist on the normal way you see watches most watches are either mechanical or they're quartz digital whatever this watch is both and so the minute and the hour hands are controlled by the battery of the quartz movement, where the second hand is controlled by the automatic version. And so it is self-winding, it always goes, even when the battery part dies, the other part will not. And so that's actually really, really nice. Price-wise, I paid $40 for this watch. I could take a gander and expect that it was probably 250 to 285 when it was first released. And again, I'm trying to figure out when it was first released. If you know the information, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. Because again, I'm always currently looking for it. There is video footage of it online, but I haven't been able to find any concrete information on its origin. As far as the comfortability and the wear of it is concerned, it is very wearable. It is very comfortable and it's something that I have no issues with wearing all the time. I wear it prim primarily every day outside of a different watch that I wear that I'm going to do a video on here soon. So biggest thing is that I got this watch from somebody off of Facebook Marketplace. And I make this point all the time in that you do not have to pay full price for Fossil on Fossil on Facebook Marketplace. I tend not to. Unless the watch is limited edition of some sort or you just really love this piece. Remember, you're in the Fossil store and you decide to go ahead and just, you know, buy the watch. You know, we all live our lives in different ways. Then do that. But more often than not, you don't have to pay full price. Places like Amazon exist. Places like Joma Shop exist. Facebook Marketplace, eBay offer up whatever places like these marketplaces exist for these watches and because they're not your rolexes omegas bright lanes or anything like that you can tend to get them at extremely high discount and so i would recommend that you do that i don't recommend that you put yourself in a position where you're shelling out 190 210 240 dollars for something if you're the kind of guy who wants to like maintain value or just the kind of guy who goes through a lot of watches and buying and selling things like that because you will not get what you pay for it unless you got it for an aggressively good deal. And so I got this for 40 bucks. I do not plan on selling this at all. I think it is a keeper. It has a very industrial rustic look 
but the strap gives it a very western and just kind of a manly feel if that makes sense not trying to be sexist or anything but i think that this watch is a really good wrist presence that 45 millimeters is really really large and it just really sits really really well on the wrist so that's my short opinion of it let me know what you think in the comment section below don't forget to like comment subscribe and share i'll see you on the next one holla back to your boy peace